Okay, we're here in Suzuka Circuit in Japan, and uh, we're here to cover a race. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ah. Mm. This is an important thing for Yamaha because they have been supporting Filipino racers to go out there and uh, compete, bringing the Pinoy Sika nga sa, sa world stage. Last year, we were here. Our two boys, Masato Fernando and Makili Kyle Pass, they were on the R25. So, kamusta yung standing ng boys? So far, so good. For Masato's case, hindi siya nakasali super pole kasi pang 16 siya. Sayang, isang place na lang. But he's confident naman with the race mamaya kasi last race sa Thailand, pang 19 siya and he was able to catch up naman from uh, first to second lap. Overall standing for this season, first pa tayo, may ilang points pa tayong lamang sa second placer so hopefully mamintay natin yung lead natin for this win. Wildcard sila last year. Um, they didn't do too well but they learned a lot from that and lo and behold, since 2019 kicked in, this time on a bike that they're more familiar with, the Sniper, the Underbone category, they've been doing really really well. Overall, Kilikal Paz is at number one. Masato Fernando was number five or four. Okay, na yun. And you're talking about um, how many people are almost 40 participants. So they're like way up. As of today, yes. overall number one top five si Kyle, and then last top five si, si Masato. Masato. So okay, and expect you ba to? I really feel that these boys are really made for this already. They've been competing outside the country for several times. Of course, carrying the Yamaha team, the Philippine flag, and I'm just happy that it's working the way they want it to be. No? Of course, this is still a very long season. Almost midway pa lang tayo. So, so, mahaba pa ang laban and we're still happy right now even in the practice, maganda pa rin ang resulta natin. Ah, uh, napakalaking tulong po nung sakay po namin dito last year sa R2 bike. Kasi natutukan po namin kung paano po sakyan yung bike, kung paano po ang gagawin sa race track, kung saan po ba yung linya, ganun. Napakalaking tulong po. Ngayon, first time po namin sumakay sa underbone dito sa race track na ito, sa Suzuka. Pero, nakikipagbakbakan po agad kami sa harap. Basta napakalaking tulong po nung sa wild card po namin last year dito sa AP250. Ngayon, marami akong natutunan dito. Unang-una sa pagpe-prepare ng bike. Malayo, malayo siya doon sa dati namin ginagawa. Dati, pag nabuo lang yung bike, pwede na yan. Basta matipay at basta nakatindig yung motor sa Pilipinas, pwede na yan. Pero dito, sobrang detalyado lahat ng ginagawa ng mga... Sukat lahat, no? Oo, oh, oh, ng mga mekaniko namin. At syempre, sa tulong ng Uma Racing Malaysia, ang daming na itulong sa amin. Lalo-lalo na yung mga mekaniko namin, nabibigyan nila ng mga teknik. At syempre, yung mga teammate ko na Malaysia, marami akong natutunan sa kanila. Dahil yung mga dating ginagawa ko pag nagte-training, mas nadagdagan pa ngayon yung kaalaman ko. Kamusta naman yung mga kalaro natin dyan? Medyo nakakatakot lang po yung mga kalaban dito kasi sobrang aggressive po nila. Gutom na gutom po sila sa panalo. Nakakatakot yung mga galawan. Kaya kailangan po, doble ingat. Masalo po ngayon, championship leader po ako. Kaya sobrang ingat po talaga. Hindi po basta pwedeng sumugal na pagka gusto mo manalo. Sige, papasok mo agad sa ganito. Papasok mo inside kahit alanganin. So iniingatan mo na yung lamang natin? Opo, opo. Ibe, sa ating kasi dahil nga mga Pilipino ang mga kasama rin natin sa loob ng truck, dito parang nakikipag-gera. Pagdating sa loob, kailangan maging matapang ka. Kailangan alisto ka dahil ang mga kalaban bigla silang sumusulpot at gumagalaw ng kakaiba na medyo delikado. Kaya ngayon, ang labanan namin dito, kailangan may tibay ng dibdib. At syempre, kondisyon. Hindi ka pwedeng lumaban dito ng basta-basta na lang. Kailangan training, lakas ng isip at syempre, nagpapalakas ng ano namin, motivation e eh, suporta ng mga Pilipino at ng mga fans. One of the biggest learning talaga na realize namin, it's not really only about the rider eh. Yung buong team talaga. So even our mechanics, our racing team, the way we plan things, it completely changed when we joined the whole season. So before kasi, as a wildcard entry, pa isa-isa lang, pasundot-sundot na, parang maitawid lang. Now, hindi na, totoong laban na talaga. And you're bringing not only yourself, not only the team, but the Philippine flag to compete against this six, seven countries. Siguro mga eight legs pa na wow. 
motor mo, so far, ano yung pinaka, pinakamalaking challenge na kailangan mong ayusin sa bike mo? Okay naman po na yung bike. Ah, lagi na lang po namin inaayos yung engine po talaga. Ah, okay. Tono na na tono. Opo. Ngayon, dahil race 1, ngayong qualifying ko, medyo hindi maganda yung naging posisyon ko. Dahil nung qualifying, medyo minalas, napunta ako sa pansik, hindi ko nabigay yung best ko nung qualifying. Pero confident ako sa bike ko dahil alam ko maganda at malakas. Race 1, first lap, susubukan ko na mapunta sa harap para hindi ako maiwan. Kasi baka mahati yung grupo, hindi na ako makahabol kung mapupunta ako sa pangalawang grupo. Kailangan sa unang grupo pa lang, baka dikit na ako. One race at a time, ika ka. Yes, oh. So, tumangkad ka, tumangkad ka. Ano ang ano, ano, adjustment na ginawa ko? Wala naman po siguro, ganun pa rin po. Basta, ang iniingat ako lang po, ganun pa rin po sakay ko. Ayoko po mabago yun. Ngayon tumangkad ka? Opo, ganun pa rin po sakay. Medyo sobrang haba nga lang po pag lumili ko. Alas laging parang nagpapasahid na nasiko yung tignan. Forward. Ano yung next step natin sa kanila? This is just a start of a very long project. So we started racing Kuyama GP, one make races. Then from that time, we commit that whoever wins will compete outside the country. Then a further commitment is now having a racing team. At syempre, ang pinaka-goal is how to continue this. So Kyle and Masato will definitely be bigger and they need to progress. And someday, somebody needs to be racing on their category. So we also prepared several races in the Philippines that it will enable us to prepare new breed of riders, new breed of heroes that will compete in this season. May plano para sa abang. Yes, nakaready na kami dyan. Alam na alam ng mga Filipino riders yan. So stick with Yamaha and you will have a good career. Yamaha, thank you so much for doing this. I think it's a good thing that, uh, that you're pushing our countrymen to compete abroad. It makes us all proud to see our countrymen do good. And it's also, these two are now also an inspiration to the next batch of riders who want to compete abroad, who want to carry or bear the Philippine flag. Sana tuloy tuloy na talahat. You can keep locked into the Yamaha page for all updates. Um, they've got a lot of events coming up that involves racing. We should all try our best to support our countrymen in this endeavor. This is Zach from Makina Moto News. Ciao. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Ah. Mm.